Hey everyone and welcome back to the point and click devlog, an ongoing series in which I slowly realise the enormity of the task I've opted to take on. For this update, with work on the game's backdrops well underway, um, I thought it might be helpful to, to take a step back and run through the various software options out there when it comes to making point and click adventure games. So we're going to look at three tools you'll want to consider if, like me, you're setting out to make one of these games without really knowing how to code. Um, that includes what they offer, how they work, and then a little update on my platform of choice. So here we go. So in my first devlog I mentioned that I don't have any experience in coding um, and that's true and untrue at the same time really. Um, about two years ago I decided to have a go at making a simple platform game using Game Maker Studio. Um, so I did what most Game Maker Studio newbies do which is to watch Sean Spaulding's tutorial series and code along with him. I got to about this stage before realising that well, I got to the point of being able to fiddle with the code and make my own elements like springboards. Um, I, I really didn't understand enough about why or how the code I wrote resulted in what happened on screen. As a very left-brained person, um, something about it just wasn't really sticking um, and that led me to ditch the project in the end. So when it comes to this game, um, I'm pretty resolute in the fact that I'm not about to learn Unity overnight. Thankfully, there are a few platforms out there designed specifically for the purpose of making adventure games um, and they don't require you to be a black belt in C. So these are Adventure Game Studio, Adventure Creator and Visionaire Studio. And here's what each one has to offer. So Adventure Game Studio is the veteran in the space, um, but it still has an active community and a steady stream of games made using the platform landing on Steam and on mobile. It's a Windows only program that does require some scripting, um, but with what seems to me to be a fairly straightforward set of inputs. Um, so what you're doing here is adding a backdrop, telling the software where your character can move, and then adding in a list of dialogue trees and dependencies. The simplest tutorial I found for this in terms of getting started is from Densming, which I'll link below. And that's a 12 part video tutorial that covers just about everything you'll need to have in your game, including cutscenes and all that jazz. Games you might recognise made using Adventure Game Studio include Gemini Roo, Techno Babylon, Whispers of Machine and Kathy Rain, all of which show the depth of possibilities baked into the software. So for instance in Whispers of a Machine, you've got uh, branching plot opportunities based on how you answer certain questions and a cool like scanner tool that lets you trace DNA around crime scenes. Adventure Game Studio is completely free um, and comes with a couple of demo games to get you started. Adventure Creator is a bit of a unique proposition in the field in that it allows you to create 2D or 3D games, um, albeit with the catch that you'll need to know your way around Unity to do that. That's because rather than a standalone piece of software, uh, Adventure Creator is actually a $70 plugin for Unity that adds functionality designed specifically for this genre of game. Now, it says you can script things visually without the need to code, but given the need to get to know Unity has put me off trying, I'm afraid I can't really confirm how simple or straightforward that actually is. What I can say is that there is a laundry list of games made using the tool on its site showcase section. Sadly, I've not played any of these or heard of many of them, um, which to be honest does nothing but make me worry about how many point and click games go unnoticed after years of painstaking development, but there we are. Either way, if you know your way around Unity or you want to give 3D a go, then this is probably the platform for you. Lastly, we've got Visionaire Studio, uh, which is the platform of choice for Daedalic Entertainment, who made the Deponia games among many others. It's available for Mac and Windows um, and has a variety of different pricing tiers depending on what you want to do with your game, um, from individual tinkering to multi-platform publishing. In terms of learning, there's a full reference doc and wiki, but I think the best resource I've found is the tutorial series on YouTube by Silvernode Studios, who have actually used Visionaire to make their own cat-based detective point-and-click game, Nine Noir Lives. 
Like Adventure Game Studio, it's been built specifically with one task in mind. Unlike AGS though, it's got a much more visual UI with less scripting and more in the way of drop down menus and checkboxes. And it's for that reason that I actually think now that I'll make my game using it. So at the start of this project I said I'd probably go with Adventure Game Studio when it comes to pulling my game together. But the more I've looked into it and the more I've thought about it, the more I feel that Visionaire is probably the choice for me. For one thing, it's available on Mac, which is no small consideration for me. Um, I've got a Windows laptop kicking about, but I, I definitely feel more at home on a Mac. Secondly, while you can bust out some code in the Lua scripting language in Visionaire, it's more graphical interface, makes more sense to my tiny brain. And lastly, this won't be my first time using it. So as I mentioned before, um, a friend and I tinkered around with Visionaire a couple of years ago. And we were able to get up and running with items, inventory and dialogue trees without needing a master's in thermodynamics. So all in all, I think all that combined probably makes Visionaire the optimum choice for what I'm trying to achieve. Though obviously we'll be crossing that particular bridge in a more serious fashion as and when we get to it. And also that's not to say that you can reach similar or probably better outcomes in Adventure Game Studio or Adventure Creator if you were so inclined. At any rate, when we get to it, I'll probably go more in depth with how to use Visionaire um, and maybe even do a live stream or two of me building my game, you know, putting it together when the time comes. That's still a way off yet though. Um, right now I'm still busy drawing backdrops um, and then it'll be on to characters and animation after that. I've got four or five out of 32 backdrops done now, which is good progress, but carrying on with that is going to continue to take up the bulk of my time on the project. In the meantime, I'll try and keep updates on the channel as regular as I can um, and use each devlog to expand upon different areas of the project and the tools that I'll be using. So, you know, I hope you stick around um, and stick with me as we go. Let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to know about and I will see you in the next one. Bye.